Welcome back. This is Kim Saeed of KimSaeed.com, helping you break free from narcissistic abuse with a mix of science and spirituality. If you'd like to get my videos in your feed, make sure you hit subscribe and click the little bell so YouTube will notify you when I publish new videos. Today's video is going to be five ways narcissists trick you into believing they care. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you to please check below in the description box below this video because I always include lots of helpful links for you. And I also have a link to my Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Program, the Break Free Boot Camp. So make sure you check that out. Now on to today's video. Number one is they act interested when you tell them you think they might be a narcissist. Now there are two camps of narcissists when it comes to this. The first camp are the narcissists who are going to get extremely angry and offended that you are suggesting that they're a narcissist or that there's anything wrong with them. They're going to immediately get angry, rage at you, accuse you of lots of different things. But then there's the second camp of narcissists and these are the ones that are really tricky because they are going to pretend to be open to the idea and that they're going to check into it, they're going to read up on it. And in your mind, you're hoping that they would be like you if someone gave you some kind of feedback about your personality or the way you interact with people. But both camps of narcissists are still going to punish you for suggesting it. So that second camp of narcissists, even though they might seem interested and open-minded about it, they're going to punish you. But even more than that, they're going to use that material that you give to them, whether articles or YouTube videos or whatever it is, and they're going to use that to hone their craft a little bit. They're gonna figure out better ways to manipulate you. Number two, they are going to suggest that you go to couples therapy. Now, I wrote an article about this several years ago, and I'll include a link to it down below this video, and it talks about why going to therapy with a narcissist is a bad idea. Now, if you're just learning about narcissism, you might not understand why this could be a bad thing. But I gotta be honest with you, I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and I even did it myself before I found out about narcissism. But back in the day, I took my ex to therapy, and of course he turned it all around and made it seem like I was the one with the problems, the one with the issues, and I was the one that needed to change. The therapist totally bought my ex's story, hook, line, and sinker, had no idea what was going on. And this is usually what happens. The person who really needs help is the one that ends up being further traumatized and manipulated and invalidated. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you check out my article by clicking the link in the description box. Number three is they will pretend that they have ended that affair. Many narcissists are notorious cheaters and they have affairs left and right. The only exception might be the cerebral narcissist because they honestly believe that most people in the human race are way below their league. But aside from that, most narcissists are cheaters mainly because they can't bond with other people. They're always seeking something new, that shiny new object, and they get bored really easily because they have had so many different experiences in this department. And you may have discovered that they're cheating on you with that person at the office, or maybe their ex, or their, their children's uh, other parent, and so they might try to convince you that they have ended that affair, that you're the only one they want to spend their life with. But whatever you do, don't breathe a sigh of relief and feel like you can trust them. 
Don't give them that get out of jail free card because they need to earn your trust back. And it's highly unlikely that they really and truly plan on ending that affair. And even if they do, it's only gonna be a matter of time before they get bored again and they're gonna seek out a new form of excitement. Number four is they will insist that they have changed after being apart from you. So maybe they dumped you for another supply source or maybe you finally left them because you got tired of the lies and you got tired of the cheating. So what normally happens is they will do their very best and very convincingly to make you believe that they have changed after being apart from you. They might say, well, I've gone to therapy. I'm a different person. I am in AA now, or I've started going to church. I'm a born again Christian. Whatever the case is, they're gonna say whatever they think is going to be most important to you. Something you have expressed a desire for in the past. So that could be church, it could be therapy, it could be some you know, newfangled treatment for their narcissistic personality disorder. They're gonna tell you whatever you wanna hear because they wanna rope you back in to their narcissistic vortex. But you can count on this. Narcissists do not change with the passage of time. Number five is they will tell you they can't imagine their life without you. So I think back to my marriage to a narcissist. He is the father of my youngest child and he knew I was starting to get serious about ending our marriage and moving on without him. And so he put on this Oscar worthy performance one day he took off early from work and he came rushing to my you know where i was staying talking all about how he couldn't imagine living life without me and our son he wanted our family back together and i went ahead and bought it and that very same night he went back to his usual self as he didn't even skip a beat just went right back to the abuse and he'd already moved his stuff in and so it took me a little while to get back to a place of leaving again, but leave I did. The important thing to understand is that narcissists do not think or process emotions the same way you do. They're going to tell you whatever you want to hear to trick you into coming back to them or into convincing you to allow them to come back. I just want to put it out here. There are a lot of websites now that claim narcissists are capable of change. Well, they are capable of change. I'd say probably most everyone's capable of change, but I've honestly never seen any of this play out in real life. So there are therapists who are saying they're treating narcissists in their offices. There are specialists out there, brain specialists even, who claim that with a certain treatment, narcissists can improve and they can change and you can go on to have a more fulfilling life with them. But I am not seeing this play out in real life. So what that tells me is narcissists are really good at fooling therapists or it's really a marketing campaign because there are so many of us saying that narcissists can't change, so they want to make themselves stand apart from the mainstream by saying, oh, hey, I've got this new treatment here, and we can treat narcissists, and they can get better, and you can skip off into the sunset with them. I've never seen that happen. And at this point, I have worked with hundreds of thousands of people, either people who've gone to my blog, people who email me, people who are on my social media platforms, and even coaching clients that I've worked with over the years haven't had one single incident where a narcissist made lasting improvement. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please remember to check down below for those links in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.